Dr. Zisa in action. God is here. My name is uh, Mrs. Ebere Yi Soraye. I'm from Bayasa State. I came to this uh, Great Commission, April 6. Before I came to this OPM, I bought land. I have two abandoned projects which I cannot complete. Each time I go to the site, I will spend the money for admission. So I made up my mind not to near the building. I built one at Bayasa, year 2000. I abandoned it. I came to Port Court. I bought all that land again. I laid foundation. The year 2003. So the same thing started. I decided to. Everywhere she built, abandoned. Built, abandoned. And when you abandon, you run away. Wickedness. I decided to abandon the property. That not everybody that come to this life will build. For me to build and die, it's better abandon and stay with my children. Abandon it. So it come to a time. I summoned courage. I brought 150 share to this altar and one bottle of Cameroon zinc. I lay down and pray. I say, God, I need rest. And I need a setter. I want to complete those buildings. So I gave, I dropped them here. So I decided to follow, uh, start from the one at uh, Amadi, Trans Amadi. Then I completed it. Clap for the Jesus. In a former church, she didn't complete it. But she came to OPM, she completed it. Anyone with abundant project shall be completed today. Yeah. Uh? So today, uh, I want to dedicate my story building, three bedroom into four. Clap for Dr. Jesus! But remember, when she debuted, sickness will come, she will run away. She will go everywhere, sickness will come, run away. But she came to me and she was able to complete it. God is here. And also, devil denied my first son. My, my best friend is my father, is everything to me. When I put to bed, he's the one that helped me in the house. Suddenly, saints against me. And devil denied him for admission. But this year, this year, I went to Bayasa with my children. They were looking for admission. Two of them, after prayer, they gained admission. One to, one to do accounting, the other one to do law. I thank God for that. Clap for the third Jesus. Today, I want to dedicate my building. Look at it. Who loses? Knee down. Boom. Yes. Kisses. 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 Key. Your story must. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Mrs. Sources Anayo. We located OPM 20, 29 December. I am my husband. Before I located OPM, I was afflicted when I gave birth to my last born. Then I bleed for five months. After the bleeding, I bleed for five months. Doctor asked me to go to evacuation. After the evacuation, my tummy was big and my mercy ceased. So when I watch OPM in television, we decided to come. When to I OPM. watch OPM, like many people are watching it now. You are watching on television. Don't waste time. The story, at the end of the story, don't come. Don't be uh, believe. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. You've been having faith since Adam bought 13 now. No more. Come. Call that number on the screen. Come. And come on Sunday. Come before night, and God will change your story. The years of story, seven kids or not to get multi-millionaire, don't pass. That time, don't pass. You don't inspire. Resort. They are never resort. And that is why the people that give testimony here, they call their address so that people can go and investigate. Not somebody go and go, Pastor, I came here with K-leg, now I have bull-leg. No. Go and hire witch here from UPTH. They use the pass maga. No pass back. <laughs> uh -huh. We move to everywhere, no solution. We move to everywhere, no solution. 
Uh -huh. So when we came to OPM, Daddy said there's somebody here. Your tummy is big and somebody's leg is moving on your tummy. So now uh, pray like this. Somebody's leg is marching on your tummy. Yeah, somebody's leg is marching on your tummy. Huh? Mm. So pray like this. After that prayer, say from 92 days, that mercies will come out and that pains will cease. So after that two days, on 30 December 2013, the pain cease and the, that my mercies come out, my tummy flat. God, I said, God confirm the word of Psalm. Anytime I say, receive, receive. Healing. Miracle. It's an agreement. Eh? So in this OPM, God healed my son of pile. Of pile. My son of two years. After two years, we discover pile. So God, I, Daddy say, there is a program uh, one night with Dr. Jesus. So when I brought my son to this place, I took my son to altar. I said, pray. Pray, tell Dr. Jesus that today I'm not, more, I'm not going back with this pile again. So that little boy prayed. So after that very dawn, Saturday morning, when we get back to home, this boy went to the pool, no, no pile again. Uh? So which I testified, when daddy traveled to America on November end, then I testified. So in this altar, God give us a land, which a structure is going on there now. A so, structure is going on, on the house now. They, God gave them land here. Uh -huh. So today, I am, I'm, I've come to dedicate our car. Church is not the building. Church is the people that lives are changed inside the building. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is uh, Japheth E.D. Johanna. I'm from the middle bed. I located uh, OPM 19 July last year by a brother in Jalingo who co called me. I, when he called me, I told him things are not moving well here. I told him I've been faithful in my tithing. I have been faithful in my tithes and things are not moving well with me. Uh -huh. I don't womanize. I don't womanize. I've been faithful. So now he now asked me to come to OPM. Go to OPM! You have been wasting your time. You have been, you have, you see, in the church, you have been paying his tithes. He doesn't fornicate. He doesn't do anything. But still, upon his tight things were difficult for him. That friend said, come to OPM. God is happy with OPM. If you pay your tithes, yeah, God enlarges you. If you pay your tithes in a greedy altar, where the pastor is building school, where he's collecting school fees, he's a greedy man, you will not expand. But if you pay your tithes, where the money is used to give education to the less privileged, God is happy. He now said, if I will sow my tithe and offering on this altar, I will see results. Mm -hmm. So when I came, they gave me assignment on water spirit, which I did. So one of my prayer points, I was trusting God for a car because I don't want to be trekking and finding it difficult to go to church. So January, uh, second week of January, God blessed me with a car. So I'm here to dedicate it. You've not even spent one year in OPM. But in your former church, no car. But you've just you not know, even stayed up to one year in OPM, car. For your church, how long have you stayed there? How long? I've, I've stayed here for more than five years because when I came to Port Harcourt, that was when I located it. You've been there more than five years. Yeah. You couldn't get a car. But on that one year in OPM, you got a car. Please cry for Dr. Jesus. Take you are buying a land and you're building a house. You will dedicate it. Video it now. You will dedicate house here, your own personal house. Why will God not be happy with opium? Tell me. Why will God not be happy with opium? God is happy with opium. Clap for Dr. Jesus. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Friday Harry. I joined this great commission ever since. Our lives have never been the same. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Since I joined, or since we joined, because it's a family, since we joined OPM, favor, favor, favor mm. has been our lot. Glad for Dr. Jesus. Because God is happy with OPM. Yes. Goodwill. 
the mercies of God mm. has been upon the life of every member of my family. Mm. Last year, uh, filing our case in the court of heaven, there are a lot of issues or cases I filed concerning my family in the court of heaven. And so it will be recalled that on 17th of January this year, God answered one of my uh, prayers. Mm. He gave us, a, he blessed us with a new Jeep. Come mm. on, Lord Jesus. Beside me here is my son. Victory Harry is the name. Since 2012, he has been writing Jump. Jump, he has been a candidate of Jump on a regular basis. I will put it this way, that Jump had been mesmerizing him since 2012. So in my petition to God, it was part of the issues that were raised. I told you the kind of testimony that will come out through this petition. Uh -huh. And today, God has answered our prayers. Behold, he has been admitted to the Federal University of Technology, Oweri, to do physics. Clap for that, Jesus. <laughs> the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for OPM. Oh. So we have come to dedicate the admission letter and at the same time pray that God should see him throughout his uh, tenure in that university in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Dr. Jesus in action. I am Sabino Sukunyo Wuna. I come to dedicate my car. I can see him from afar. Exodus 29, verse 45 to 46. And I will dwell among the children of Israel and will be their God. God is here in totality. God is here. God is truly here. God is indeed here. Psalm 68 verse 16. This is the hill which God desireth to dwell in. Yea, the Lord will dwell in it forever. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. God is here. Him. Standing by the door with fire in his eyes and healing in his wings. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. I'm blessing Monday by the grace of God, an evangelist. Last year, a friend introduced me to this OPM. But I didn't want to come because I was having a lot of challenges that last year. The Infinity Jeep I bought, Infinity Frog, arm robbers collected their car from me. Mm. So when that my friend heard the story, what happened? She said I should come here. And because of the shock, I developed a heart attack. Oh. So I couldn't come. She because said, of the shock of the robbers taking her, her Infinity Jeep Frog, she developed heart attack. Uh -huh. So she came here. She said she told daddy about it, that daddy said I should come by myself. I told her, well, you see, I'm in the hospital and there's no how I can make it because I'm very weak. So she keep on encouraging me. And uh, everything, even in my ministry, they scattered everything. The boutique I was using, everything, was, I, was, I was kind of observing setback. I said, oh, God. Even in your ministry, everything scattered in, in our ministry. So... Reaching this year, I made up my mind and said I must come to OPM. But each time I want to come, I'll be feeling somehow reluctant coming. Then I keep on watching the video. 
And one day, I told my son, I said, I must go to this church. She said, Mommy, go now. I said, but I don't know because a lot of things are happening. When that, I, that problem happened to me, ministers came. They said, I should sow seed. I sowed seed. They prayed and prayed and prayed for me to recover that car. No problem. The church that scattered everything. So reaching last week, Sunday, I just said, I want to come to this place. I carry my children to church. I drop them in my church. I hand over the microphone to the evangelist that is there. I say, handle everything. Let me go to another church. So he was like asking me, mommy, what is the problem? I said, don't worry. Let me just go to another place. I came to this place on Sunday. Last Sunday? Yes. So when I came, the crowd, right? You know, I was somehow confused. I said, well, I've been hearing of testimonies and I know what God can do. But let me just see. I know today. I must receive my own testimony. Reaching the time for the new people, I came out, and at the end of the day, I took assignment on the water spirit. There was somebody that was owing me a huge sum of money. Mm. And there was a place I wanted to buy, about seven plots of land. There was no money. And the car I was using, a, one of my friends had a problem. She wanted to do wedding. She came for me to borrow money. I said, I don't have money. You know what I'm passing through. So she now said they introduced her to where she can uh, get loan. But they will ask of collateral. So she now said I should use my car to go and collect the loan. I said, okay. I use my four-runner jeep, four jeep, go and get the loan. I couldn't pay the loan. She left everything for me. And the, the thing was accumulating interest. Hey. Everything became six up. I said, well, so lo and behold, when I came to this place on Sunday, on Monday, I decided to do that fasting. But I checked, they said six to seven. I was like asking myself, will I be able to do it? With the sickness, with what I'm passing through, thinking, even on 31st of December, I slum on the road because of thinking. I don't know myself. I was just, I was just asking God, what is really happening? What is going on with my life? So I stopped going to village because I was believing that whether the problem is from home, I just said accident here and there, problem. I refused to go back home. So when I did that assignment, I picked courage. I said I must do this assignment. I off my phone. I told my children that nobody should disturb me. So I called the nanny, two of them that are with me, to take care of the children. I locked myself inside my room. From that morning till 7 o'clock, when I finished that fasting, I owned the phone around 9. Immediately I owned the phone. The person that was owing me 3.8 million, she called me. She said I should send my account number. I said, this is somebody that I've been calling and, you know, disturbing her. I told her I'm having challenges, a lot of problems, and she keep on posting me. How come? I forward my account number. So, reaching on Tuesday, I saw a lot. You know, I, I was like, is this magic? Uh -huh. I became so confused. I said, is it magic? And most of them that I started owing me, this one called, this one called and said, Mommy, I've sent you so money. I'm telling you, I said, yesterday, I went to Alo, I paid for seven plots of land. On Friday, I was here. I wanted to give the testimony, but unfortunately, when I came out, they said they have uh, stopped uh, testimony. So I said, okay, reaching today, I drove the children to church. I drove them. I said, I must come to this place. I cannot eat up this testimony. That The miracle is too much. And within a very short time. So, And I know that the good God who has started it, I know that he will perfect everything in my life in Jesus' name. Neither. <laughs> Teacher, the beginning. OPM, Dr. Jesus in action. 
Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. People of God, I thank God for my auntie and her husband that directed me to this OPM. I am Pastor Benjamin Naman from Enugu State. I came here last year to testify how God blessed me with a wife and a bouncing baby girl. Clap for Dr. Jesus. All the things that have been happening in my life is as a result of the contact from daddy. I used to worship with my mother and my two sisters in the church. I will be playing the keyboard and I will be singing. But since I entered here, I had in contact here, things changed. <clears throat> it was my mom, my sisters, my wife and my daughter. But last year when I came here, after testifying, daddy prayed for me and said, he's handing over key of the ministry to me. I grabbed it and put it inside my pocket. I said, take the key. Because formally, in a church, it is him that will play drum, preach, play piano, sing. The wife will be audience, offering time. I said, now, take the key of ministry. Boom. Today, receive your key in the name of Jesus. It was the same key that was given to Dixon and he won. Governor of Bayasa. The same key given to Wiki Potakot. Pam, he won. Today, key to possess your possessions. Receive that key in the name of Jesus. Eh? <laughs> so, that same Sunday, I bought oil. And I went to the bookshop. I bought every day doc, uh, with Dr. Jesus. So I went back. The gear changed. Mm. From gear one, two, three to five. From gear one, he jumped. He didn't even go to gear two. He jumped from gear one to gear five. Uh -huh. After one month, there was a wedding in that same church. <laughs> <laughs> Give Jesus a clap of it. Uh -huh. This is a church when people pass, they say backyard church. Oh, they will be laughing. So, after two months, I visited a family and I saw the type of chair that was there. So, I went back home. I hired a diner. I called my wife. I said, I'm taking this, my chair out. He said, This chair you bought 80,000. This fine chair. I said, I want to sow it as a seed. So I carried that chair to that family. I went inside there. I carried the old ones. I threw it out. I replaced them with that one. So I came back. My wife said, uh -uh. so you have sold this chair as this. <laughs> so by the special grace of God, Aye. after three months, God of OPM, God of Apostle Chebozo, relocated me from that small place to a three plot of land. Mm. And there was a school beside the new site. I went there before I came here. I wrote a letter for them to allow me to be using their hall. Amen. The woman, she didn't give me any reply till last year God relocated the church. When she saw me, she couldn't look at my face. I, said, I yes. was coming to her. Say, please give me one of the classrooms. Let me use. But now, I don't buy three plots close to her own. Today, any neighbor disturbing you, you buy that property. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh -huh. So, I thank God that that week we relocated there, I had a program titled, My Destiny Must Not Be Sold. And I introduced the program every Tuesday, Dr. Jesus Clinic, mm. for the pregnant women, the mm. womb seekers. Mm. And God has been doing it. Mm. Today, in that place, 
people will come, they will tell me, Pastor, we hear your voice from afar. Mm. Everywhere mm. is filled up. Hey! There's no one like you, Jesus. There's no one like you in our being. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You've just listened to the testimonies. You've listened to the message. You are next to testify in the name of Jesus. But if you're not born again, I can lead you to Christ right now. Can you just need the way right Lay on your Let me pray with you. Repeat after me. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry. I promise not to go back to my old ways again in the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for you. Wonderful and great God. You say that if my people that I call my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn it for their wicked ways, they will learn from heaven and I forget and say I hear the Lord. Hear the Lord of children today in Jesus' name. Congratulations, you're not a new creature. All things have passed away and everything has become new. Now, you can see me. You can come and pick an assignment. You can come and see me by the grace of God. I'll give you an assignment. The assignment is free. You're not paying any money. In fact, if you go to any church and the pastor says, before you see the pastor, you pay money, that pastor happens to be an armed robber. He's a thief. He's a rogue. There is nowhere the Bible says, before you see any man of God, you pay money, or you feel for him, or you do this express. So, you can come and see me, and I'll give you a assignment, and your story must change. In the name of Jesus. So, call me on this number, and Dr. Jesus shall meet you at the point of your need in Jesus' name. There's no one like you.